I really recommend studying abroad to students because it really gives you time to immerse yourself in the culture and become a part of the culture in a way that a traveler never can. I hope to get out of traveling abroad a wider view of different cultures that I wouldn't be able to experience here. To see how other people in different parts of the world live, just experience what they experience on a daily basis. I hope to get a sense of where I came from even though I was born here in the U.S. I hope to find just a spiritual connection there um, to Africa once we visit it. People should consider, um, first of all, what country or part of the world they want to go to. Um, maybe even before that, think about if, whether or not you want a program in a foreign language or what, whether you want your coursework to be in English. For me, it was kind of a natural question to ask myself because I was a Spanish major. So if you really want to get exposure to the language, you have to go to um, a place where you're totally immersed. The factors that were important to me for selecting the program were the timing, the time of year that we were going to go and the length of the, the study abroad and also how it was going to benefit me in my actual field of study. As a secondary education uh, student, if I can go to those places or the topics that I'm going to teach, that's important. And the China study abroad trip was a history class. So I think that's going to reinforce my history education to my students and be able to give me more relevant information to them. It's really valuable to begin to consider your plans for study abroad very early on. Meeting with the Director of International Programs on campus is, is one of the first steps because that is the resource person for study abroad information. You have to go through an application process to study abroad. You have to fill out applications and then you fill out uh, scholarship awards. For me to fund a trip to China was a dual process. I funded some of it and a scholarship paid for about $1,200 of the trip. The faculty was tremendously supportive. I had no problem finding uh, professors to write letters of recommendation uh, for scholarships to go or you know, for the program itself. We really do try to prepare students before they go abroad. There are required orientation sessions to give students information about the program, the countries, things to be aware of, um, and we're happy to talk with students about concerns that they or their family members may have. Our faculty members gave us a lot of tips on what to bring, so for Africa I was definitely very prepared, and in Europe, if you don't have it, you can get it. I was going over there primarily for academic reasons. In going to Madrid, I had an opportunity to be in this massive university with this huge reputation, and I was able to study linguistics, something that I couldn't do here. And I knew I wanted to go to grad school, so for me, Madrid was kind of my testing ground for grad school. I think some of the greatest highlights of the trip of traveling to China was, of course, the walking on the Great Wall. Uh, that, that is a very significant thing for me and what I was looking very much forward to. The thing that sticks out the most to me was going up the Eiffel Tower, which was just amazing. When I visited Africa, we visited Ghana, and we were studying um, post-traumatic stress. Just talking to these people who live in a third world country and to see their hopefulness was the most amazing thing in the whole world to me. I haven't really closed the book on my year in Spain. I've been revisiting it in my mind a whole lot since I came back. If I could just hit replay on the year that I had as is, I would do it all over again, sure. I would recommend study abroad to students if they can use the information or the experience that they gain for a betterment of themselves or other people. The program actually has helped me because I just applied for a job working with um, ESL students. Just about every career can be internationalized in some respect. There are um, increasing demands for people with global competencies. And so any student who wants to make themselves really competitive should definitely consider study abroad. It's an invaluable experience. You get to see how other people live, to realize that we are so blessed and so lucky to have the things that we have. But to study abroad as a student, there's no other time in your life that you're gonna be as free and as able to go to other countries and travel and see parts of the world than you are when you're in college. So I recommend it to every student.